What is going on everybody? Back again with another video and we just got back from our local coin shop, picked up a bunch of awesome stuff as you can see. But there's one thing here that I really wanna focus on and that's this coin right here. This is an 1865 two cent piece in extra fine condition. Uh, I happened to look at this because it did have the strike through grease error. Uh, as you can see, it's designated there. And when you get really close up on this, you can definitely see that the in God we trust, the, the word in is completely gone. And uh, the G and the O of God is completely gone as well. And this is a beautifully struck coin. But so I was looking at it a little bit closer with my phone and I zoomed in on the date and I noticed something. This actually has a date over date repunched uh, it's got a repunched date. Well, the shop owner did not realize it. I let them know right away. I was like, hey, you know, I just noticed that this thing has a uh, date over date. And he, he, you know, he looked at it and sure enough, it was date over date. And they still honored the price. He says, you know what? We, you know, we paid a certain amount for it. The $35 is what they wanted for it. And that's what I paid for it. So I got this for $35 in extra fine, they sell for $35 all day long. It's also got the, the strike through grease error, which is gonna you know bump it up a little bit more. And I found another error on it, the 1865 over 1865. This is a 150 year old coin in extra fine condition. So uh, I'm not exactly sure what kind of value, I've seen values all over the place, anywhere between like 80 all the way up to you know, like 160 bucks for, just for the date over date variety. And then you throw on the other error, the strike through grease error. So this has got multiple errors. It's a really awesome variety. It's also the fancy five variety. Um, so the five is just has a little bit more of a squiggle line going there at the top of it. So I am not, I, I'm really not even sure what kind of premium this coin would have. So I reached out to Blue Ridge Silverhound today and I'm waiting for him to get back with me to find out what he thinks that this coin would retail for. Like I said, it's an extra fine condition. It's a beautiful coin. So uh, I will do an update on this video and see what he thinks, see if I can get an answer from him. But with multiple errors and the date over date, and it's very bold, it is very bold on the date over date. So I think this is gonna be a really nice coin. Might even be worth sending in and getting graded. Uh, I, I just don't know yet. So we will do a part two. We'll do a part two to this and uh, see what we come up with. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Happy hunting.